And now we're moving on to stage five, the final stage. And this stage is... It's a slog. It's, it's a grind. Uh, learning the various elements of this stage. One part's a maze, and there hasn't been any mazes in this game yet. Learning the various elements of this stage is probably the thing that took me the longest in this game. The previous stage is, you know what, just RNG. Just sometimes you get lucky, you get the armor you need, or you just happen to manage to do the jumps correctly. I'm sure there's a consistent way to get through that section without armor, but it's like you can't really feel bad about not getting lucky, and the checkpointing is good enough that you never lose too much progress in that level, and... Your various tools, your shoes and your your, your life, life potion and stuff, your dog whistle, aren't super helpful in that level anyway, so you can kind of just grind away through that level just with the, uh, the checkpointing, and that works fine. This level, though, you really need to learn all the various elements of it. Up oh, the news report. What's going on in the final level, Kim? Severe thunderstorms. So we've been downgraded from falling ogres and acid rain, is what she's saying. We're just on severe thunderstorms now. We just need... Uh... The dog whistle. And it's super expensive, but... It's the most powerful item in the game, because it, you can see how much damage it does to bosses. So now we're going down, down, down stairs, and you gotta wait for four... This is a section here where the magic mirror is very help helpful in clearing away all these birds. But we don't have it anymore, because we got a game over. It's really just a trial of patience. You really do want to just wait on these... on the lava coming out of these horrible demons in the background. And now we need another sword power-up. Uh, if you try to get too impatient through this section, you almost certainly will die. And then watch this. This is why we need the sword power-up. Sword power-up can destroy the lava. Nothing else hurts it. So that jump two holes ago with that demon face up towards the uh, top of the screen. As far as I know, you need to do a full jump, swing your sword at the peak of the jump, so you destroy the lava coming out of the guy's mouth as he's firing it, or it knocks you into the hole. Fortunately, you don't die if you get knocked into holes in this level. It's like, are you going to come down and... No? You're... Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever you need to do, man. This section's a maze. At every area here, you can jump up to that top platform, but most of them just loop back through the level. I think there's like five or six areas, and then this area will loop. The bottom of this area reconnects back to the top. So you could actually... What's next? Skeletons? Yeah, skeleton hands. Okay. Uh, you could actually loop through this area infinitely if you so desire. I don't know why you would, but... Really, it's just a matter of getting close to these guys, waiting for four lavas. Two, three, four lavas. And then we can just duck right here to kill him without taking a hit. Well, I took a hit anyway, but let's pretend like I didn't, okay? Let's pretend like I didn't take a hit. Uh, I think the next floor is bugs, I think, is next. Oh, we don't have... Oh, we do have jump boots. And clear out the blue bug first. It, it spawns in six bugs on you. And one of them is a blue bug, which is much faster than the others. Did he just go right through my sword? I think he did. I think he went right through my sword. And I think he went off screen. Uh, but you want to kill the blue bug first. Again, if you have the magic mirror here, super nice to have. Whoops. Uh, I did not mean to jump onto that high platform. My life is not in a good way right now. Hmm. I think we'll be okay, but we got to be careful. we got to make sure we don't screw up this group of bugs here. Okay, good. The alarm going off is just telling me, hey, your jump boots is about to run out. Oh, I wanted to kill the bugs before I spawned in the pink lava guy. So the next floor is pink lava guys, as you can tell. And again, the moon mirror works well against these guys. Typically, I wouldn't have moon mirror at this point, though, because I would have used them against birds and bugs. There is one more Astral Mart in the level. 
Ooh, ooh, I do not like... Oh, my health situation is not good right now. Let's get this out. I think we're gonna die and have to replay this section. Because... We're almost certainly gonna take a hit. Well, there was a sub-boss right after that. We would have died there, if nothing else. So hey, let's do this section again. And this time, we won't take too much damage. Is the master plan. The grand master plan. It really is a trial of patience. It really is. Uh, don't try to rush through this area. With the jump boots, you can jump over these demon faces, but then you're kind of in a rush, and you don't want to be in a rush. You want to make sure you get to the end with as much of your life intact as possible. So it is easier if you were able to purchase potion and keep it this long, but even the potion that extends your life meter only lasts until you die. Oh, there's a man on the stairs. Okay. Kind of unorthodox, but... We can safely get to this stair here and take him out. There we go. Okay, let's get the sword out for the bugs. Pretty sure the bugs are immune to your Mega Man bullets, too. So we kind of want to just inch forward until the bugs come in. Kill the blue guy, back off, kill all the red guys. There we go. Very choreographed, this level. Uh, but the way the level's designed is you kind of have to learn it. Because, again, when you fall into holes, you start at the beginning of the area. And then this area of the level is a big maze. So you end up doing the same areas kind of repeatedly. You kind of don't have a choice but to learn it. But it's going to go bugs, then lava, spheres, then bats, and then a sub-boss as long as you take the right exit. Maybe we'll have enough money. Oh, we're not going to have enough money for potion. Potion ends... Because when you buy potion to extend your life bar, it doesn't actually fill your life bar up. You then have to purchase the... The herb to actually fill up your life bar. Oh, getting knocked back there is not good. Getting knocked back there spawns the guy in behind us, and we don't want that. That went well. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the bullets out. We got plenty of health now. We got plenty of health to take on this sub boss. Why? Why, Bat? Alright, so if we jump here, there's gonna be- Oh! I jumped too high! See? I was getting impatient. I was like, I'll just jump over this guy. Nope, don't do it. We want to jump right here. And same thing as before. Second verse, same as the first. Man kills dog? And then, we can get him off our butt here. Dog kills man. Okay, thank you, Zap. We'll see you in a minute. Uh, do I want to get my sword out now? I think I do. There is one more RNG section in the game. Oh, and if I die, I'm out of lives. If I die, that's a game over. <gasps> Let's go ahead and buy... We'll just spend the whole... The, all the monies right here. 9,000, thank you. We'll just fill up. If we die, we gotta replay this level, but that's that's fine. That's just another Crystal Palace video. The game's super short otherwise. So there's gonna be a falling spiked ceiling, and there'll be another kind of sub-boss shooting us. As far as I know, the only way to... safely get past this part is to take damage from... I mean, obviously there's a way to do it without taking damage. There's that Japanese guy who finished the game without getting hit, but... There's this, like, eyeball swarm guy here. And he's gonna shoot us, and we want him to shoot us... ...right here. Nice. Otherwise, those spikes are insta-death. And here we are, last boss time. So, I've got one chance at this, and if I don't get it... ...we're replaying the whole level. So we'll hang out right here. The platforms are always in the same place, and this boss always jumps to the same place. So we'll just wait for him to jump. Take off his dog mask, hit him in the head with a zap, hit him with the sword. Oh, nope, sword. 
please, please. Shoutouts to Kefka Floyd for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.